My first experience with the film The Room was actually via the Flash game in Newgrounds when it was released on September 3, 2010. I say that so that the more hardcore fans of Tommy Wiseau's film can carbon date my awareness of that film. Of course, that led me to watch it soon after and I've been fascinated by it as much as anyone that watched it more than once. And that includes its production. I'm a multimedia artist by trade, so a lot of the stories you hear from the cast and the crew are moments that I found that I could learn from. You see, in doing some of these videos, I've learned to expect the unexpected, much like the production of The Room. But unlike Tommy, I had to read, and excuse the pun, The Room before starting out. In what felt like ages ago, I set up a few surveys asking you folks what is your least favorite 4 player dungeon. The Facebook responses were less accurate, but more entertaining. So let's see. Well, Sean here seems to enjoy Dark Knight a lot. Yeah, welcome to FF14, Joseph. Wow must have been so hard on you. And Daniel, I said I was sorry. So of course, Todorak won this one. It was more of the same with the Google survey I sent out. So I took out a pen and paper and mapped out the place. Never say your boy wouldn't take one for the team. Hey Privates, it's your boy Fox Marine. Before we continue on why it's so unpopular, let's look at everything starting from the quest leading up to the dungeon itself. But before I start, I'll leave the spoiler warning for the one part of the A Realm Reborn story. I'm only emphasizing this because Wolf hasn't reached this part of the story and last time I did leave a spoiler warning, he wasn't paying attention. So yeah, Wolf, this is for your benefit. No one else, so play the fucking game! The journey to Todorak begins at level 24, with our search for the missing Sylph Elder, Frixio, as a part of the main quest storyline. Tensions are high between the Sylphs in the East Shroud and the people of Gridania, and the unexplained disappearance of the Elder doesn't really help in negotiations. After pretending to be an amateur stripper for a few vegetables, <laughs> damn it, why did I write this? We're told that someone has some news on where the Elder was held. So with that, we head on to Quarry Mill via teleport and walk west to Biscarin's druthers and speak with Biscarin himself. He tells us that he got reports of the Elder being spotted near the abandoned dungeon, Thousand Maws of Todorak. So heading there, we could take the direct northeast route, cutting through the forest and praying none of the overgrown offering spots us. Alternatively, we could safely take the road back east, and once we see the stone marker to your left, we go north. I know it's nothing like the ass tickling you get from trying to get to Hawk Manor, but I like lore appropriate alternatives. At the entrance, we find Blossorant, who was supposed to guard the entrance. However, Paul Blart Dungeon Cop here might not have been paying attention while the Elder snuck inside, and with that, we head on in. Upon entering, you'll notice that Todorak is a straightforward, linear dungeon. Just before your first encounter, you'll find an expedition note from a first spear Rydell that reads, Dangerous fauna encountered upon entering the cave, calling as permission parameters. Expect to encounter more as we press deeper. And soon after, you'll find your first mob of the dungeon. Past that, you'll notice some boarded up rooms and a fancy looking door to your left. After fighting some Selmites, we'll see the first series of webs before fighting more of them. Take a left on the Hall of Penance and into another mob. Here we encounter our first boss, the Curl of Nine Tails, which casts poison. Simply tank and spank this boss and you should be on your way. It's past the boss area that we find the second note from Rydell. Engaged with a sizable fiend, succeeded in exterminating, but casualties mounting. Must consider turning back if situation worsens. We then fight two more mobs. Now note the increasing moss growth as we head on deeper. We have to fight the next mob to take down the webbing that's in the way. We fight two more mobs to take down the next web obstacle before we encounter the second boss, another curl of nine tails. It works a lot like the first one, but past a certain point, ads will come up so make sure the tank has all aggro. 
we do fight more mobs after this boss, but after which we encounter Rydell's last note. Dynamite infestation confirmed. Scores of eggs on verge of hatching, beyond our means to deal with. Aborting mission. Subsequent parties beware. As we continue past more mobs and web-blocked entrances, we start to see less and less cobblestones and man-made structures as more and more of the natural cave is revealed. And then we finally get to the boss, Graphius, which is basically an enlarged dynamite model. The area is surrounded by green goo, which the party must avoid as it hampers movement speed upon touching it. It has a silkscreen pillar knockback attack as well as exploding fleshy pods. After enough damage, it also summons more adds. Avoid and adjust accordingly and you should come out victorious as you all finally find the Sylph Elder. From what I've gathered, Todorak used to be an actual detention facility. Cells line up its halls, and even the names given to the creatures like Prison Terox, the Prisoner's Delight, and the Warden's Whip all clue into that. And whether due to the calamity or other more natural causes, Todorak was possibly flooded by water at one point, which should explain the moss, fungi, and other similar creatures that dominate the area. When the dungeon dried up, that's when Rydell and his spears went in to explore the caves. We don't really know what happened to them, and after surveying the dungeon on multiple visits, I wasn't able to find any trace of them, so we can assume that they got out of there. So all in all, it's a decent dungeon. And it didn't used to be this way. You see, before patch 6.1, Todorak used to look like this. Now it looks fine until you consider what else they stripped away. They removed photo cells that players needed to advance through the dungeon. They removed alternate paths, including that sealed off room on the first turn that I pointed out earlier, which led to a room that housed another photo cell. Believe me, a as a tank, I still got lost doing the old version of this dungeon. The green goo in the final boss area actually extended long before the boss area, so players had to fight mobs with a slowdown effect. Even structurally, the corridors of Todorak were much smaller than what we have today. The only thing they kept were all three simplistic boss fights, two of which are just copies of each other. For a lot of fans, the room falls under that category of it's so bad, it's good. It's probably why a lot of public screenings around the world tend to sell out. Hell, they made a movie about the movie. The fact that I'm shoehorning this 2003 film into this video about Final Fantasy XIV should clue you in on how this alien of a man lives rent-free in my head. Now the old version of Todorak is nowhere near as endearing as my month's old data would suggest. As a matter of fact, you could very well place it along the likes of Neil Breen's work that are like, so bad you'll never forget how bad they are. I personally have no issues with either old or new Todorak, but much like these shitty movies I've been talking about, old Todorak still stands out for a lot of people because of how fundamentally bad it is. But part of me feels like it should have stayed. No, 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 wait, listen, listen, listen. Not because it's so bad it's good or it's just bad and I like getting a dick up the ass. The mechanical issues that players found annoying are what made this dungeon unique. We have so many great and awesome dungeons, raids, and game modes. We should have at least one bad thing to remind us how great the rest of the game really is. Ah, oh, damn it. I feel like I've been talking out of my ass. I don't know, fuck. Uh, just go to the comment section and have a big fight about it. And hey, this is your boy, Fox Marine, telling you all to be safe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on these links so that I could remind you that this is a warning, not a guarantee.